In Final Cut Pro, you build your project by adding clips to your timeline in a sequence. Final Cut Pro's Magnetic Timeline feature allows you to edit your video without worrying about maintaining a clip's connection or synchronization. Each time you add a clip to the timeline, Final Cut Pro automatically rearranges it to fit each new clip without affecting your existing work. This is called rippling. When you start to build your project, you'll add clips to the primary storyline which is this dark gray area here. And then you'll add connected clips above the primary storyline, such as titles and B-roll shots. There are four ways you can add a clip to your project once you've marked your in and out points. Clicking on the Append Edit button will add your selected clip to the end of your sequence in your primary storyline, regardless of where your timeline playhead is located. As you begin to edit and build your video project shot by shot, this is the type of edit that you'll likely use the most. Clicking on the Insert Edit button will insert your selected clip in between two clips on your timeline at the point where your playhead is positioned. All other clips, after the insertion point, are pushed down or rippled to make room for the new clip that's being added. An Insert Edit makes your project longer by the duration of the newly inserted clip. Clicking on the Connect to Primary Storyline button will connect your clip to your timeline on top of your primary storyline track at the point where your playhead is positioned. Note that anything placed on this secondary track will be seen instead of the clip that's underneath it in the primary storyline. While you won't see the video of the clip underneath, you will still hear the audio, however. This is useful for when you have an interview on your primary storyline track and you want to add B-roll to cover part of the interview. Clicking on the Overwrite button will place your clip on top of other clips in your primary storyline at the point where your playhead is positioned. This effectively deletes the clips that have been overwritten. When you're first learning to edit, we recommend that you use the Edit buttons to add clips to your timeline, but you can also drag and drop your selected clip from your event browser directly into your timeline at the point where you'd like it to go. As you drag your clip, you'll see a plus sign, and when you drop it into your timeline, you should see a blue line appear at the point where you want to add it. When you see that, drop it. The other clips should move out of the way and ripple all the other clips downstream. You can also drag your clip and drop it above a clip in your primary storyline to create a connect edit. Dragging and dropping one of your clips onto the timeline on top of an existing clip allows for another kind of edit called a replace edit. As soon as you drop your browser clip on top of a clip in your timeline, a menu will appear asking if you want to replace, replace from start, replace from end, replace with retime to fit, replace and add to audition, and add to audition. If you choose replace, the timeline clip will be replaced with your browser clip, and the duration is determined by the browser clip's duration. If you choose Replace from Start, the timeline clip is replaced with the browser clip selection starting from the beginning of the browser clip, and the duration is determined by the duration of the timeline clip. If you choose Replace from End, the timeline clip is replaced with the browser clip selection starting from the end of that browser clip's out point. The duration is determined by the duration of the timeline clip. This is also known as a backtimed edit. If you choose Replace with Retime to fit, then the browser clip will either slow down or speed up to fit in the space of the timeline clip. By default, Final Cut Pro keeps a clip's audio attached to the video when you edit it into your timeline. 
To add a video only clip, go to the Edit pull down menu and choose Video Only. Notice the Head and Shoulders icons are now displayed in the Edit toolbar, indicating that all edits made going forward will be video only. To add an audio only clip, go to the Edit pull down menu and choose Audio Only. Notice that the speaker icons are now displayed in the edit toolbar, indicating that all edits made going forward will be audio only. Remember to change your selection back to All when you finished your edit. Once chosen, both the video only and audio only options will stay active for all future edits until you change it back to All. To delete a clip, highlight it in your timeline and then press the Delete key on your keyboard. To undo your last action as you're working, including edits, press Command-Z on your keyboard. And you can undo several actions if you keep pressing Command-Z.